you ever been working in your PDM vault and you want to send a custom notification to a specific user if there's a checkbox on the data card so it requires their signature? Well, this Q-tip is for you. Today's going to be a little bit long, so hold on. Here we go. Let's say I've got this XML EWR engineering work request in my vault. I've already got it filled out and I want to send a custom notification or dynamic notification to um, Darren, Gary, and Judy. If the box is checked here, I, wanna, I want PDM to know to send the email notification. Let's say that I want to also add a manufacturing engineer approval and I want that to go to, um, let's call that one to Jim. So if I save that out and I run this through my uh, approval cycle, like right now I'm in the initiated state. And if I take a look at this, it's in the preliminary routing uh, state. So it hasn't even entered the workflow yet, but I've got it checked out. Let me go ahead and check this in. Just completed the data card. But inside this workflow, I'm in the in progress state. And so I want to send this to the forms approval, multi-approval workflow. And if I do that, then I'll have the file land over here. Well, this, this transition right here is the one where the magic is going to happen. So let's just see what happens when we go ahead and send this through. Notice I haven't selected a name over here. There's no dynamic notification. No, there's no dynamic selection over here, but I have the checkbox selected and Darren's name is in the list for email notifications. So we're going to address it to Darren. So I filled out the notification comment that's going to go directly to Darren. Let's go ahead and click OK. This is all out of the box functionality and PDM is going to send that email notification to Darren and it will land in in the email inbox. All right, I've sent the file into the MEC review state, which means it is now over in the multi-approval state, which is right here. So this is the transition where all of the emails should get sent. If I take a look in here, I've got over here in the notifications, I've got conditional notifications that I've set up already for those uh, pull down lists that have the user's name in them, email engineering, email industrial. These are all variables. If I click these over here, if there's a name in here, PDM will send them an email, but I've got a condition also set up that it's looking for this checkbox. If the checkbox is filled out, send the email to whoever's name is in there. Let's go see how it works. Right now we're in the MEC review. Let's go ahead and send it in to the next state. And we're gonna say mechanical approves. In this transition, I have, authentication set up so I have to enter the password of the current the user that's currently logged in click OK the transition is now going to run the file should go from mech review into multi-approval okay the file has landed in the multi-review state and an email has been sent to Darren Gary Jim and Judy let's take a look at the email inbox so we use G Suite and our emails come in through G Suite. Here is the email notification that shows the data about the file, the buttons or the links, and then also the notification comment, please expedite shaft diameter tooling has failed, production is down. All right, so that email went out to Darren, Gary, Jim and Judy. I did receive four emails. Now here's how that works. Inside this transition, before I land in the multi-review state, I set up the conditional notifications. On this tab, I use a conditional notification for each one of the pull down lists. So like for email engineering, if I take a look inside the data card, email engineering is a user list of full names. If, the, if PDM finds a username in that list that's valid and there's an email assigned to it, it will send an email notification. It does provide plenty of opportunity for you to handle the email notification specifically. We're talking surgery rather than shotgun. Okay, so I have an email set up for each one of these. If the box is checked, and that, that's handled by this. 
if Xpres required is uh, as a yes no is yes, then send the email notification. Really cool stuff. So if I take a look over here, this is that Xpres required. That's how that works. If this is checked and it's a yes no because that variable is a yes no, it's a yes no type, then PDM will send the email notification to this person. This is a super super way to handle your email notifications with out of the box functionality. Go SolidWorks, that was a great one. All right guys, I hope this Q-tip has been helpful to you. Believe in the Q.